Welcome all, this is Chanakya Zoshi and I'm, ha I'm happy to introduce you to the Notion template named the CXO Journal which is going to help you manage yourself personally and professionally and it will also help you to manage and scale up your business systematically. I'll take you through this Notion template uh, in a very brief manner and you can download this template, duplicate it in your own Notion workspace and use it as if it is yours. So let's start. So the CXO journal is your template. Feel free to duplicate this by clicking on the top right on this page. It is completely free and there are no charges. As of now, you can't see the top right copy icon, duplicate icon because it's I'm already logged in. Uh, but when you create a new Notion account, which will be which is free for you, and uh, click on the link which I shared with you. You can just see that duplicate icon and you can copy this Notion template for you. Once you duplicate this, you can use it as if it is yours. Uh, whatever you edit in that duplicated template will not be seen by others. Only you can access it. So congrats and be better organized. So let's start what we are actually, uh, this template is made up of. But before uh, we start, uh, some disclaimers. Uh, we have used Parametered, a productivity framework developed by Tiago Forte for designing this template. We have used technology of Notion, which is basically uh, connecting different databases and the thought process we used is parametered. And this template is created by me and uh, under this is brought to you by Get a Connect Global, uh, the company uh, which I founded uh, which is owned by, which is now Content Funnels Technologies Private Limited. So let's start. Uh, if you really want to know about Parametered, you can uh, uh, check uh, check out my newsletter, uh, last uh, week's newsletter. Uh, let, let's go into this uh, Parametered, into this Notion template. So this Notion template actually is having four different databases or four different categories in a way. P-A-R-A, -A, projects, areas, resources, and archives. Let's go one by one. Let's go into projects. Projects basically are a series of tasks linked to a goal. They have a deadline. Projects are part of an area and project can have multiple tasks. So in this uh, notion template, we have, I have, we have created some standard projects and connected them with some standard areas which are normally uh, a CXO comes across, uh, both as professionally as well as personally. We'll go through this uh, in detail afterwards. Second is areas. Areas are your sphere of activity with a standard to be maintained over time. It's like it has no deadline, it is ongoing. For example, health is your area. For example, your kids are is your area. For example, your company's sales can be your area. Your company's uh, operations can be your area. So there is no end, end date to those areas. You can take up different projects inside those areas and they will have some deadline. We have created standard areas here for you uh, which um, which a normal CXO comes across. Uh, this is a ready-made template for you. You can start using as is, but feel free to add your new areas, your new projects by clicking on the new tab here. I'll give you a demo of how it really works. But before I actually tell you, uh, you have to, I will, I will explain you uh, what are these areas in a nutshell. There are basically 10 make or break pillars of any company. One of them is strategy, sales, marketing, product, support, your company's finance, HR, operations, technology stack, and legal compliances. All these 10 pillars are your area as a CXO. Of course, CXOs are human beings, so you will have your own personal areas. Maybe personal finances can be one area, your kids can be another area. So these are just sample areas which we have added. If you want to create a new area, you simply click on this and type in and the new area will be created. Now in the second column, you will see 
projects which are associated with these areas. These projects can be created in this page, clicking on the new tab. Once you click here, you can create any project. I can create a dummy project here, for example, dummy project. When I click here, it will ask me which is the area this project belongs to. Say for example, this area belong, this project belongs to dummy area, right? Uh, then it will ask what is the last review date for this particular project. I will say today. It is asking what is the review frequency. I will say 30 days is my review frequency and automatically your next review date will come. If this, say for example, if you are in the month of July and if you, if you still have not reviewed this project, this overdue box will be ticked. You can also map this project to different people in your organization. For that, you need a professional uh, uh, Notion account, uh, which is not free. And your people can actually see and manage the project inside Notion. Going back to the area. Now, if you look at actually the area, you will get a bigger picture of what we are actually talking about. This area table, the last review frequency and next review date and overdue uh, are all main area also. You can have your own classification about the main area. For example, sales and marketing can be your uh, main area related to front end, right? You can also add your main areas here on your own. And there are some related, uh, just let me go there, uh, related projects and areas. I think they are not required. You can ignore that as of now. So if you, you will get a bigger picture of your areas. For example, if you see HR as your area, there are two projects in HR uh, currently. And one is team outing activity, which is pl planned to be planned in next month and hiring process improvement. So in case of operations, there are three uh, projects. One is weekly dashboard design, personal to do's and professional to do's. So I have added personal to do's and professional to do's as projects because many times what happens is that you get to know something and uh, you uh, don't have any place to capture that idea. Uh, you can just simply put it into these two buckets. For example, if you go, uh, if you want to go to personal project, you just click on personal projects, personal to do's, I mean to say, and then an, another page, detail page will open up. You can expand this and you can type in whatever you want to using this uh, template. If you, uh, you can do the same thing for professional projects, you can do the same thing for your areas. If I open on the this funding proposal, uh, which is my area or, or my project uh, uh, to be done by 30th or something, uh, I can type in whatever I want uh, related to this project. So that's basically uh, about projects and areas. Now let's go to the next uh, thing uh, from the para template is resources. Now, as you are doing different projects, different areas, you will come, you will get different resources, which is like you might get some contacts, you might get some links, you might get some knowledge uh, about doing some stuff. So basically resources are any topic or theme that is of ongoing interest to you. So once you finish a project, move that folder from projects to archives and extract all the useful resources from that project to this section. So resources can be your online marketing, your SEO tips, it can be your Excel tips, it can be your habit formation related blogs that you have read, it can be project management, it can be music, it can, can be health, it can be anything. So while uh, as I, I was not sure what I should put in this resources section, uh, the thing that I have put here is important links which I think you will find useful related uh, to your business and your personal growth as well. For example, there is an assessment called how good are you as a leader? So if you give this assessment, you'll come to know your score uh, about your leadership and where you're standing you know, with respect to the standards of leadership. There are some different blogs which will help you 
to manage your business. Uh, by the way, all these blogs, all these links are created by Get Connect uh, uh, Global and they're available on getaconnectglobal.com. I thought I will share this with you so that you can also get to know about what we are doing as a business. And if you're interested, you can connect with us or you can learn something from this and help your business uh, manage better and scale it up systematically. The fourth area is archives. Archives is nothing but inactive items from other three categories. So whenever you feel that something is not required, you can push it to archives, especially the projects when they are completed and you don't think uh, they are going to be immediately helpful to you. You can just drag that project and put it in archives file and it will look like this. For example, if you click here, you'll get all the data which my, you might have added into this and you will see all the data in this page. So in a nutshell, this is all about the para template. Now, how to copy this template? I will share a link with you. Basically, that link will be nothing but this link. If I click here, this is the link that you are going to get. The only thing is you need to create a free Notion account uh, to duplicate this template inside your workspace. I think this is it. Uh, I hope this template will be useful to you to manage yourself personally and professionally, and it will help you manage and scale up your business systematically. Thank you.